here from uh, RE Technology and with today's coffee chat we've got a um, one of our trainer extraordinaires with us today Haas Pratt he's going to tell us about um, some I think a very very important topic that I know we've talked about it with, via questions many times on coffee chat about you know just how am I going to get more listings right now that people don't necessarily believe that we're in business in real estate they I, I think they as soon as they hear downturn, they immediately think we're back in 2008. It's like, row. it's all about real estate, right? Real estate's dead. This is never going to work. Um, so we're going to talk about some ways for you to, to sort of break that, that, stem that tide and figure out ways to get new listings. Um, before we start, though, I just wanted to remind everybody that um, we love when you ask us questions. So if you look at the, in your control panel on the right-hand side, you'll see a little blue bar that says questions with a little triangle. Click on that little triangle and open it up, and then uh, we'll be able to uh, answer questions. Wanted to say hello to a few of our uh, regulars. Mary's here, and Philip, Julietta, Robert, and Tim. Thank you guys for all stopping in. I'm sure there's many of other regulars with us as well. Let me see if I can see you. Oh, yeah, Dennis. Hey, Dennis. Janice. Uh, let's see. Who else? Mary. Siobhan. So thanks, guys, for coming in. So with that, I'm going to turn it over to um, to Haas. He's going to kind of walk us through this, and then at the end of this, Haas, I want to um, I'll I'll jump over and um, tell everybody who's coming in later this week. So take it away. Perfect. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me. Uh, thank you guys for joining us today. Uh, my name is Haas Pratt. Um, I'm going to share with you today how to become a listing boss, and I've got a gift for you that I'm going to be giving away at the end. But I do have a lot to cover in our time together. Uh, so it's gonna be like drinking from a fire hydrant. I'm gonna talk pretty fast. I got a less, little less than 30 minutes here to cover a lot. So if you would, to eliminate your dis distractions, grab a pen and paper and uh, go with me because this is all about how to go out there, achieve more freedom in our business, be able to have more control and be able to put more signs in the ground. And that's what Listing Boss is all about. If you don't know who I am, uh, my name is Haas Pratt. I'm a national real estate coach and trainer for over 12 years, I've coached thousands of agents, helped them generate millions of dollars in commissions. I have over 5,500 hours of coaching agents one-on-one. -on -one. I'm author of the number one best-selling uh, book, Listing Boss. Uh, people come to me for my sales and marketing expertise, uh, business growth strategies, and I'm creator of the Listing Boss Academy. And what I'm gonna share with you today are some of the most important distinctions and nuggets that I could give you to be able to go out there and get results fast. And that's what it's all about, getting results fast and if you don't have my book listing boss i'm going to give you an opportunity to get this to you uh where um it's a you know it's a special gift so just hang with me this is a, a the book that i'm going to cover some of these insights in today so here's what i want to do is i'm, I'm speaking to the agent that wants to grow their business they want more freedom they want to succeed long term they want to have more certainty in how they do it and there's some there's some there's some things that we got to cover before we go into the how and it all begins with having a vision you know for me i'll give you an example i always wanted to be a listing agent i never worked a buyer in my life never taken a deal from contract to close i didn't want to work weekends i wanted to be i didn't want to buy leads i wanted to be able to generate leads on my own and i had a crystal clear vision of what it is that i wanted my business to look like so the first step in order to achieve what it is that we want is we have to know what it is that we want. And I would ask you that question. In 12 months, if we're having a conversation and we achieved everything that you considered that, that you wanted to achieve, what would have to happen in order for you to consider it a smashing success? What is it that we're, why, what, why do we get out of bed every day? Why do we prospect for new business? What is it you're trying to achieve and, and know what success looks like? And and I'm gonna give you a formula today because I believe you can accomplish anything you want in life and business. And there's three ways to doing so. Everything begins with mindset. We gotta change the way we think at every level. And mindset is something that is, is gonna either determine our success or failure. And next is, is models. Having models to follow, not reinventing the wheel, following a proven model with massive action. You see, the massive action part is where you come in. You, know, you you are the one that will take massive action. I'm going to give you the models today to apply that action and hopefully at the same time inspire you to shift and change your mindset to help you achieve what it is that you want to achieve. And 
what does that look like? Well, I'll tell you this. I know for me, I grew up in Northwest Missouri. I barely made it through high school. I didn't go to college. All odds were stacked against me. But you see, I always had a, a desire for success, a desire to be somebody. And I remember my mentor, Jimbo. Jimbo was a millionaire. His grandparents invented the hay baler. You know, Jimbo took me under his wing and he taught me a lot of different things. And one of the things that he told me to do, he, get, he said, Haas, you got to move. I said, why move, Jimbo? I mean, I'm in the middle of America, smack dab in the middle. I haven't even been on an airplane yet. I haven't seen an ocean. Here I am in my early 20s. And he convinced me to move to a, a new place. And I moved to Texas because I had a burning desire to succeed. It's the same desire why you got into real estate. You got into real estate for that same desire. You went and got your real estate license, you're self-employed, you're an entrepreneur. Why? Because you have a burning desire to succeed. But you see, desire alone is not gonna make you successful. I mean, we know that, right? Like when I got my real estate license, I got in the business, I had a burning desire, but I blew 50 grand in six months. I didn't take a single piece of business and I was failing miserably. Not because I wasn't applying massive action, but because I didn't have the right models. And so what happens here is this, is we gotta get clear with where we are. And I want you to do a success assessment. Are you playing it safe? Are you staying the same? Let's say you've been in business for several years and let's go back five years. What was the, let's say the, the amount of homes you sold five years ago, four years ago, three, two, one year ago. And what is, if we were to draw a line across that result, what would we see? Does the line increase where you sell more and more homes each and every year? You see, I believe that should be the case because we learn and we grow, we adapt and we and our systems begin to work or we decrease, it gets worse and worse every year. Maybe it's flatlining where maybe you're playing it safe, you're comfortable and you're staying the same. You see, all change starts with awareness. And if we wanna change, we have to have the desire to change. So do you have a desire to achieve a new level in your own business in the next 12 months? And I'm guessing since you are here, of course you are. So we gotta get real with how we go about doing it. And it begins with maximizing our time. In real estate, we have to understand how important our time is because time is everything. And we all have 24 hours in a day. There's tons of activities and people that will try to take that time. But as the entrepreneur, as the listing boss, which you are, you gotta own your time. And that begins with knowing what your time is worth. So today, like you're watching this webinar, what does it cost you to sit here for 30 minutes and listen to this message? I know what it costs me to, to deliver it for 30 minutes, but we got to know what our time is worth. And I want to help you with this. I'm going to give you a formula um, that will make it real easy for you. So let's say you uh, make $50,000 a year. On average, that comes out to about $25 an hour. So you would cut whatever you make in half. And usually that's, it, it's a rough estimate, pretty accurate. So let's say $25 an hour. If you make $100,000 a year, that means you make $50 an hour. If you make 200,000 a year, that's $100 an hour. If you make 500,000 a year, that's $250 an hour. So if I'm making $200,000 a year, am I gonna input the listing? No, why? Because I can delegate it. And we wanna delegate everything that we can do for less than what our time is worth. And we reinvest our time in the highest leverage activities that are gonna produce the greatest result. See, this is a paradigm shift around time management and owning your time that the greatest agents, the top agents, they are militant about protecting that time. And they want to ascend to that hourly rate. They want to earn more and they want to, and they want to get smarter with their time because that's really truly where freedom lies is how we choose to spend that time. And so what we want to do is to delegate everything that we uh, don't need to be doing. I mean, am I going to go mow my lawn if I make $250 an hour? No, because it'll be the most expensive lawn care service I ever, I ever received. So what we want to do is get clear with that because there's some high leverage activities that we need to be doing. And in real estate, so if I'm, and I've coached thousands of agents all over the world and, and this is what I do. I, I help them build the system and infrastructure and the mindset to apply their high leverage activities to their day, to where their day from morning to night is jacked full of their high leverage activities so we can extract maximum results from the time that we're investing in that activity. So there's four high leverage activities I wanna cover that I wanna, that 
are the most important to any real estate agent's business? Number one is, is prospecting. Look, prospecting is the backbone of your business. Prospecting for new business and following up with leads and lead generation and conversion. And this is so important because in real estate, we're unemployed every 90 days. We have to lead generate consistently because we are on the, the treadmill and we need to have a system in place that allows us to do that. And if you're not prospecting consistently every day, um, I'm gonna help you with this today because there's a, I think I know the reason why and I'm gonna help you, help you fix that. Next is, is presenting. We need to be presenting every day on listing appointments, on buyer appointments, on video, on webinar, on digital presentations, virtual presentations. You see, presenting is what we do after we prospect. So in a day in life of a successful agent, a lot of their hours are gonna be spent prospecting and presenting and then building relationships. This is key, taking their key people out, meeting their key people, writing those handwritten notes, picking up the phone and calling their database. And then lastly is, is leading, leading your team, leading the meetings, coaching, training, as you grow and scale, that'll become more and more important. But I want you to write these down because these are the activities that you should be doing every single day consistently. I want, I want yeah. to ask the audience a question about that house. Yep. So um, how to, yeah, just trying to be honest with ourselves because nobody can see these answers but me and I'm certainly not sharing them. How well do you think you guys are doing the balance of what Haas is describing here right now? Just give us a heads up. Are you, uh, would you give yourself an A, B, C, D, E, or F in terms of the balance that he's describing? So keep going. I'll, I'll give you some answers in a second. Yes, perfect. And, and this is the important. This is how it will change everything. And, and you know what happens here um, that I, I that you know is kind of gets lost is the who you become in this process, who you become in this it, it, when you're prospecting, presenting, building relationships, and leading every day. You're going to become the person that you need to become in order to achieve the things that you want to achieve. You know, it's it's becoming the skillionaire. This is these activities are going to make you better. They're going to make you stronger. They're going to give you the tools that you need to be able to to succeed and thrive in this industry. Next. Here, here's some answers we got yes, go just to give you a sense of the audience. So we got a C, we got a close to an F or someone that's really self-aware, I guess. We got a B, we got a B, and then we got a no consistency. So that's a probably pretty consistent mix of what you see, I'm sure, in your coaching practice, right? Yeah, totally. And, and this is uh, this is why I do what I do. You know, for me, I never missed a day of prospecting. I was on the phone every day. I would set appointments every day. And I, and I never worked a buyer in my life. Um, all I did was list homes. That's the reason that, you know, they call me the listing boss. And, and I, but there's a, there's a reason why I did that. And it was because, number one, I knew what my time is worth. I applied it in the right activities. But it's, I was targeting niches. And I want to help you with this because you want to identify your niches. If you don't know what your niches are, you're not going to prospect every day. So what does that look like? Well, there's two types of markets. You have the haven't met market and the met market. And the met market, these are people, you know, that, uh, that you know, your sphere of influence, your database, they, they love you, they like you, they know you, your past clients, your partners, your preferred vendors. Uh, this is the met database, the sphere of influence. And a lot of people go after this market and which is great. And this is something that, you know, we should always be serving, you know, but, the reason that I failed my first six months in the business was because I was going door to door, right, meeting five people a day, building my database, putting them on a mail campaign, and just waiting for the referrals to come in. And it, this is a longer process versus going after, let's say, the haven't met market, like the for sale by owners and the expireds and the farm area, the short sales, the REO, the probate, the builders, just sold, just listed, paid lead sources, social media marketing. So I'll give you an example of what I mean by this. The day that I discovered for sale by owners and the day I discovered that I could buy their data that where I would get sit their contact information every day, that's when everything changed. I took my first listing that day. My next day, I took a, another listing. 30 days later, I had 30 listings in 30 days after failing for six months. Why? Because you're only one piece of information away from achieving any level of success that you want to achieve. And, and for me, it was the haven't met market. Everything turned around for me. I went after that market. I had systems in place. 
I was fishing in multiple ponds and I would stack my niches. So when I, and this is important in, 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 as you're growing, one niche at a time. You wanna focus on one niche, dominate it, go to the next niche, dominate it, next niche, dominate it, next niche, dominate it four times. And that right there will take you to the highest level. You don't need a hundred niches. You just need four. Go ahead. So I thought you had a question there. Okay, so what does that look like? Well, let's say I'm going after for sale by owners. And here's what I love. I love a niche that 100% of the niche wants to sell. Like 100% of FISBOs want to sell their home. 100% of a farm area, neighborhood farm doesn't want to sell. Part of my marketing strategy has to be to find the people that do, and that costs money. And you know, it's a, it's a different approach. So I like niches that 100% of the niche wants to sell. And what we do is we have an action plan for every one of them. And this is the key. The reason that a lot of you here have C's and F's and D's and you're prospecting is because you don't have contacts on action plans and you're not doing what the action plan tells you to do. You see, if I were able to give you my action plans and follow up system to target a specific niche, name the niche, every day you're gonna feed that beast and every day your system is gonna tell you what to do. And unless we build it this way, you're never going to be consistent because if I say go prospect, you're going to say, who? Who do I call? What do I do? And this is an important part. This is the reason that the industry has a revolving door. This is the re reason that the average agent sells five homes a year because they don't have a plan and they don't have a focus on a particular niche. And especially today, because in today's world, we have to communicate in multiple ways from the phone to the mailing postcards, if we're doing direct mail, texting, email social media. I mean, do we have to do all these things? I'll tell you this, it's a noisy world and people have the attention span of a flea and we need to be seen everywhere. And that doesn't mean we spin an arm and a leg to do it because we don't have to, but it is important that we go look, that we use all different types of forms of mar marketing and communication to have more contacts. And in that communication, this is key. What separates you from everybody else? This is about deploying a marketing arsenal that makes those leads uh, say yes. It makes it easier for them to see the value in you. And if we don't have a marketing arsenal, then it's hard to establish value. And if we can't establish value, then our value is in the, is in the our commissions. And that's what's happening in the industry. So we gotta fix this problem and how we do that is we make it abundantly clear what it is that we do to solve that prospect's problem. And deploying a marketing arsenal will help you do just that. And I'll tell you this, you know, if you're brand new in real estate, you've been in real estate a while, I, as I tell people, you know, what they taught you in real estate school is, is not important compared to the reality of real estate. And you know, you're a marketer, you know, as soon as you get that license, you become a marketer. You're a marketer who happens to be in real estate. And the faster you can think of yourself as a marketer, not just a realtor, but a marketer that is you know, growing and learning and, and dominating in this, in this area, you're gonna, your business will thrive. And so what does that look like? Well, I'll tell you this, I'll ask you the question. This is the ultimate question right here. Why should your prospects use you instead of your competitor? I mean, as of today, this, you know, this, uh, this show, I'm, a, I'm in Dallas, Texas, where I live. You know, here in Dallas, Fort Worth, we have 35,000 real estate agents. You know, what, what do 35,000 real estate agents do different than one another? And that's the question we got to answer. Is it, if I ask this question, I ask this question in seminars all the time. I've done thousands of seminars in 48 states and almost every one of them I would ask this question. I'd let the audience tell me, here's what people would say. Well, and they would always say well before they answered it. <laughs> well, I'm honest, I'm loyal, I'm trustworthy. Uh, I work hard. Everything I touch turns to sold. I'm a house sold name. Um, I, I got my ABR, my CRS, my GRI. I mean, the list goes on. And this, you see, the thing is, is that's all about you. That's not what people are looking for. They expect you to be honest, loyal, and trustworthy. They expect you to be educated and have you know, credentials that, that show that expertise. But that's not what they're looking for. You see, when a seller asks you the question, what are you gonna do to market my home? They don't really wanna know the 15 things that you're gonna do. They really just wanna know that you have a plan. And that's what a marketing arsenal does. And this will help you. So for me, in my marketing arsenal, I had a solution for everything. From my 89 point marketing plan that sells homes fast for the most amount of money, to my certified pre-owned home program that 
sells homes for 4.8% more money in 28 days faster than the MLS average for my easy exit listing to my communication guarantee, my performance guarantee. If I don't sell it in 29 days, then you know I'm gonna sell it for free because I'm an 89 point marketing plan, Mr. Seller, that works like magic this time of year. You see how I'm communicating it and it's not about me, it's about solutions, solutions, solutions. And when you have this and you can communicate like a doctor would communicate to a patient prescribing a prescription to their pain. And without the prescription, which is the arsenal, then we, we are the prescription and there's the disconnect. It makes it harder to sell, it makes it harder to present, it makes it harder to prospect, and it makes it harder for prospects to say yes to you. So you're a marketer, you wanna brand everything that you do as a solution and communicate it in your message. Next, leveraging systems and tools. Uh, here's the, the key. We have to leverage systems and tools because we need a we need a machine that does the heavy lifting to manage the process. And here's what it would look like. We have to depend on systems because you don't manage people. You manage the systems to manage the people. You see, you're not going to prospect unless you're told to prospect. You're not going to prospect unless you know who to prospect. You're a human being. I mean, we're we're not complicated. We just got to be told what to do. So we have to build the machine so you know what to do so you can show up for the machine. And without the machine, then the, the prospecting and the lead generating and none of the, those things could happen. So we want to depend on systems, particularly in the area of lead generation and lead conversion. Now, you may some of you may think that, you know, uh, I mean, I don't know who would argue with me on this, but the two most important parts of a successful real estate business are lead generation and lead conversion. And this is the focus where we need our systems the most. You know, it's kind of like a kiosk. I'm reminded of a, a kiosk when I go into an airport and I travel a lot and I go in and I go to these machines and this machine does 80% of the heavy lifting, if not 90. I mean, it's asking me to check in. I'm putting my, my, my record locator number in there. It's asking me how many bags I'm gonna check. It's asking me if I wanna upgrade my seats. It's asking me all these questions. If I wanna buy 10,000 miles and, how, and all this and it prints off my, my, my bag tag, I put it on the bag. I take my boarding pass and I wheel that bag up to that gal and she takes it and weighs it and hopefully it's under 50 pounds. You see, back in the day, it took human beings to do that. Back in the day, you used to have to rely on yourself and not technology, but today we're able to leverage technology in a way that allow us to run the system and it makes it easier for us to show up for it and it provides more freedom. Um, it's, it's less expensive. And so we need a model that will allow you to plug those systems in to the technology. Next. So Haas, we have, Haas, we have a question for you. Yes, go what, ahead. What kinds, of, what kinds of systems do you recommend? Or what system do you recommend? Because that, that's, I think everybody knows that at some level, it's just, what, what do I do with that? What, what yeah, system you know, are you thinking about? Great thing. And you know, when I think, when I say the word systems, uh, I mean, I, you know, think about what comes to mind. It could be, a lot of different things. A system could be the campaign. A system could be, you know, a, a CRM. A system could be a daily method of operations. But in the terms of technology, a CRM uh, would be the answer. A CRM that that you depend on. A CRM that you log in every day, first thing in the morning, and that thing tells you what to do. You don't even know how to breathe without logging into that CRM. You see, that technology is like the kiosk, and in addition to that, you have other technologies that you can you know, attach, but you know, we don't want to get in the technology maze. We just want to have technology. You know, we want to keep it big and easy. You know, a lot of times you know, people will complicate the process thinking that they have to automate everything and it has to be perfect. It's never perfect unless you're doing it, making it easy. And that's what I, that's what I help people with is that. So a CRM is something that you need. There's a lot of great CRMs from LionDesk, KB Core. I mean, I could go on and on. There's a bunch of them out there. I don't want to just leave any of them out, but the, it's the CRM that uh, that you depend on is the best CRM. The CRM that you use is the best CRM, and a CRM that that allows you to scale and leveraging other technologies. For example, to me, a CRM should have the ability to text message leads and prospects inside a campaign without you having to do it. Meaning. You set up the campaign once, you say on day three, it sends a text, hey, want to know, do you so, have you sold the property at 123 Main Street yet? And you set that up once, so those messages will go out 
without, you know, when you're just sitting at lunch with your spouse, you're, you know, watching the kids at soccer, you have lead generating going on. So for me, it's important that they, that a CRM allows you that has that feature to be able to leverage texting, email, phone, and other things within the campaign. Next, this is the most important part right here, is you got to take action and make it happen. You know, I said at the beginning, in growing your real estate business and getting to the highest levels, it's uh, it's about having the right mindset, having models to follow, and, and taking massive action. And that's what I do. I provide models. I've done this for 12 years. I've taken agents from zero to number one agent and, and number one listing agent in their market in 12 months in almost every state. And I have countless success stories. And the one thing that they have in common is they all applied massive action to my model. And that is the listing boss model. And they are all coached. You know, they invest in themselves. They don't think that they know it all. They know they don't build the know-it-all wall. They're the five percenters, the ones out there doing 95% of the transactions. And that's the reason they are the five percenters because they grow and they are coached and they are well modeled. And there here's, the, and I could go on and on about why you need a coach. Uh, everybody needs a coach. Uh, coaches, mentors, those types of people. I know for me, I wouldn't be where I am without my mentors, my coaches. Wouldn't even be here. Why? Because I need to be told what to do, just like you. I need to. I need to have that clarity. And how do I find the clarity at the next level? Well, I get a coach who's already been at that level, who's already done it at that level, and that and they help me and they give me the hand up that I need as I'm applying massive action. You see, this is why I do what I do because um, I believe that uh, you know in real estate there's a lot of options out there in terms of what you can do and experts and coaches and models and. Uh, and I, you know, for me, it's uh, Listing Boss. Listing Boss is the ultimate model. I have, a, I wrote a book called uh, Listing Boss. It's the number one international best-selling book. In fact, I'm going to give this to you for. Uh, in fact, you're going to pay $7.95 shipping and handling. Okay, so I'm not, I don't make any money on it. In fact, I think it cost me a few bucks. But I want to get this book in your hands. It's sold out on Amazon. Uh, you can go on Amazon and look. Uh, you know, the reviews has over 300 five-star reviews. Uh, and I go deeper into everything I covered today. I go deeper inside this book. And this book will become, it'll become your, I mean, your sidekick. You're going to highlight it. Every sentence is going to be important to you. You're going to dog ear it. This thing's going to be your guide. It's going to be your model. And I want to get this in your hands. You can go to listingbossbook.com. I have like 50 of them left in my office before uh, we're waiting on the reprint. So why don't you go get one of those 50 um, and I'll... Go to listingbossbook.com and get it today. It's the definitive blueprint for real estate success. Listen, if even if you don't like to read, get it, read it, because this book is going to help you tremendously. So with that, I want to encourage you to remember, you can achieve anything you want in life and business. If you have the right mindset, you have models to follow, and you take massive action. Now with that, I thank you for having me. Go get the book today. All right. Thanks, Hoss. Uh, so thank I want you. to just... Yeah, I just wanted to let everyone know who's coming in tomorrow uh, and the rest of this week. We have, um, let's see, let me open it up. So tomorrow we've got uh, Jim Spear. He is the CEO of, of One Key MLS, which is the MLS in uh, a good portion of New York State. He's going to talk to us a lot about communication and, and how the MLS can help you with that. As if you guys that have been on the show, you know that I, I solidly believe there's a whole bunch of great opportunity for you to get resources to sell your beer to sell well and to be very successful using the things that MLS has provide you and um, one key is no exception to that and then on Friday we've got um, Sheldon here he's a, a great guy he's going to talk to us about leaning into technology and how to market proof your business uh, he's going to he's from market leader so um, we all we all want to know how to do that especially in the time that we're living through with all of these back-to-back -back crises that we've been dealing with so He's got some uh, a great message for us to hear as well. So if you want to join either of those, um, look into the chat right now. You'll see there's links for both of them. If you want to register for either one of those, that would be awesome. We'd love to have you. And also, if any of you would like to for us to join, uh, to sign you up automatically for all of these things, uh, would be happy to do that. Just send an email to me at Marilyn, M-A-R-I-L-Y-N, at retechnology.com or just put it in the question box, put your email in there and we'll get you registered. We've got a bunch of people that we do that for now. It seems to work well for them. And then finally, if you would, you, anybody that's on this today, will get a recording of this. Uh, we'll be sending you via an email. So you, if you wanna listen to it again, you're ha happy to do that. But also if you'd like to make sure you don't miss any of the recordings of Coffee Chats, 
go to our YouTube channel at RE Technology Inc., all one word, and um, just subscribe there. And then to push the the blue the bell that's next to it, make that solid, and you'll get recordings of all of them. And also, if any of you are not yet um, getting a free subscription to retechnology.com through your MLS, if you go to retechnology.com, up in the top right-hand side, you'll see a section that says Create Account. Uh, click there on the monthly option and then type in COVID-19A and you will get a free subscription for three months. So thank you so much. Um, let's see. Uh, John is asking, is there a special code for the book or do they just go to to listing boss book and, and order it with the 795. Do they need anything special to do that? Talk? No, John, just go to listingbossbook.com. It's all there. You don't need anything. You just order the book from there. It's, it's actually my site because I, uh, again, Amazon sold out, but uh, I'm going to just use pay the shipping and handling. I'll get the book shipped out to you. Perfect. All right, great. So if anybody else wants to do that, feel free to take advantage of that. And with that, we'll tune out for the day. Everybody have a great afternoon and hopefully this inspired you to think about how to be to move yourself from a C to a B or a B to an A in terms of consistent prospecting and consistent conversion and consistent customer service. So with that, we'll tune out. Thanks, everybody. Have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow talking to Jim Spear from One Key MLS.